Hello everyone, idiot. What's happening there? Semitic, whatever that is. Semitic. Minecraft, single player. Pre release of 1.73. Giving it a go on my 1.72 solo world. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, what's happening? Weekly roundup of what's going on in my worlds. Well, we've got three main worlds at the moment. You have this one, the Vanilla Solo, which is where I'm doing my fresh landscape. And I have, bum bum bum, put the front on the boat. And yes, I did a lot of rework after my last episode. I looked at it, I changed it, I looked at it, I changed it, I looked at it, I changed it again. And I kept looking at it, kept changing it. And I'm still not 100% happy, don't like that bit up there. That can go. That's an old, we'll jump in that, because that's what we do. What have we got going down in there? There you go, it's a bit bulkier at the front now. Mm, still not 100% happy with it. I've raised this bit here to allow for a bit of room in there, but it's ruined the line a bit. But it's the oldest style slope, almost straight front. If you look at some of the old galleys, they do that. As they break the water line, they're almost straight fronted. It's going to be three masts, I think. That may change, may get out of one, may go out of two. But I've had to push a third mast on there because this wouldn't lay out right no matter what I did. But I'll show you quickly what I've done on it. That's all that's happening in this place at the moment, is this boat. It's me boat of boatiness. Only going to be a quick episode today because I uploaded one episode this morning and it's taken five hours to upload an episode. Here we go, you can stand up on this promenade. That old temporary, old oh, the wood. Whole hatch. Rear in a boat. Not much is going on, but gives it a nice feel. We'll jump down here. We've got the gun deck. With no guns on it yet. This is also you can jump out that way and get onto the top deck. And you have down the bilges. The bottom of the ship, I'm going to keep all my storage. These all need moving back or widening the ship. And temporarily my bed. So that is what's happening here. Now, my other side though, my other vanilla world, which is my hardcore, is nothing's happening in that, because I died again. <laughs> yep. Second world, second destiny went down, but there you go. It was a brutal fight. Three spiders, two skeletons, and a zombie. And it took, I took down three of the spiders, one of the skellies, and the last skelly and the zombie snuck up behind me. Fight worth watching, if nothing else. This bit, I don't like this bit. So, yeah, it's definitely a fight worth watching. And we'll nip over here very quickly before that sun sets. So you can get a look at the side of the boat. Not perfect. Not true to history. But I like it. It's a boat, and it's where I'm staying. some frame rate there. Don't know why that is. Right, anyway, I shall fade the black here and I shall meet you in my Feed the Beast Unleashed world. 
See you in a moon. Wow, that was quicker for you than it was for me. Feed the beast takes an age to wake up. 20 crew. 984 missions. I'll let you work out what that means. But I'm very happy. Very happy indeed. What's been occurring here? Well, for some reason it's changed direction. Apart from the new bods I added last time, I'm trying to think, oh yeah, that's what we were doing when we were making this little bit out here and testing the smaller. Well, I pushed it higher, pushed it much higher, put some feeder arms on it, and stopped. I don't know what to do with that next, because there's been a bit of a change. Bit of a change over here. My probe is now gone, and I have a blob. I have a blob in my body. It's a bit of a blob. But it's a blob with a purpose. It's a blob with a light switch. These lights go on. <coughs> lights in there go on. Mobs appear. At the moment, I've only got a zombie spawner in there. But as you can see, I've been having some fun with it. There'll be a few more in a sec. So they come in. Nothing changed out there. Once again, this is the only real bit that had any changes. You're going to be the only one. Mm. Well, I'll turn the spawner off and I'll look to you. Then, using the mob softener, mumbo jumbo design, compact little thing sits in that little space there. What it does, it goes, bosh, fires out lava for a split second. If you turn them on, catch them on fire, They'll cook nicely, and there is theory, because sometimes they die if they've taken too much damage, yeah, look, took too much damage in the f drop there, so I might have to, might have to leave you out there, you have to excuse me, I've got the dog trying to play Minecraft for me, which isn't making it very easy for me to play. How do you deal with a dog that wants to play your game for Every time I put my hand on the keys, she's nudging my hand. And I've not told you about my dog before, but she's not tiny. Ah, right. I've just got her to move off at least. No, she's... a Stavridge Bull Terrier. With a difference. She's crossed with an American... I think it's American Bulldog. So she's a big beastie. She's got the brindle colouring and face shape of the staff. And the mouth size. But she's got half the body size of the American Bulldog as well. So she's a big girl. Very muscly, very cute. And very, very attention seeking. Constantly needing attention, bless her. But I wouldn't change her. Because she's a good dog. She keeps nudging my hand when I'm trying to play Minecraft. Don't you? Yeah. No, go lay down there. Alright, now because they've had less distance to fall, this should be better. It says to drop them four blocks for zombies. Because they have more health than skeletons. I'm not sure if the four blocks is working. I do get a lot of them. Well, these should all be one of my skills. Apart from raising armour, and you need to just drop them. See, it'll be more. Turn it off again. Just give me one of these there. But no, that's all I've really done on here. Just made that little thingy. 
Oh, we'll die quicker. We can often quickly take you up and say, Well, I would if I hadn't. Half oh, block here. Good block to get in there. There's dispenser, dispenser's lava. lava. You just got redstone there, sticky piston with a block on top of it, a repeater and a repeater. And it fires a little time and serves it to make the lava go. Dun -dun. There you go. That's all it is. When I fire up the switch down there, these redstone lamps go off, that redstone torch goes off. Mobs all get fed quite happily this way, and they shouldn't be a whole lot. Let's deal with that while I'm here. I'll just do quite a bit of rework here, to get it working with. But no, then I've had to put a sign across the top of there because it kept forcing forcing things to go wrong which is never good put that back put the glass back there we go, ready for the next one what else has been happening on this? nothing Corey's still chugging away Quite happily pumping out. I've removed all the redstone block now and just feed it direct out of the item filter. Much quicker. Two stacks of diamonds. What can you what can you do with two stacks of diamonds? So I'm in the diamond layer over there, so it won't be long before that one finishes. Uh up the top still all the same. Down there, still plugging away. And we're up to the grand total of 22 million. So, we're not in a rush to get me quantum leggings yet. But no, nothing's really changed on it. Not much is happening at all, really. Most of the work's getting done in solo vanilla at the moment with the boat build. And the future build of the dock. This one, this one project over there got put on hold because I'm not sure what I want to do now. Now I've got that actually being a spawner down there, and I've realised I can transport the spawners into there. I don't need the big one up there. Don't forget. So I don't quite know what to do with that. I might just leave it dangling there, like a big old, a big, like big prodder. Oh, I don't know. What should we do with it? Anyone got any ideas? Sling us a suggestion. Put it in the comments, I'll be over the moon. But on that note, I'm going to call this an episode. And I shall see you next time in one of my three worlds. Probably this one for my next episode get some proper work done for a change. I'll just see you then. Bye!